Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing to this channel if you have not subscribed to. Election fraud dossier as now Raila Odinga faces the DCI. According to the nation media, we have been told that the Directorate of Criminal Investigation DCI, Mohamed Amin, is looking into the authenticity of the files as Emil Laumoja, one Kenya, released on January date 18 to support claims that the opposition alliance emerged victorious in the August 9, 2022 presidential election. And also, of course, the initially letter seen by the nation media, DCI chief Mohammed Amin is seeking to establish if offenses of forgery and falsification of documents were committed in the release of the dossier that accuses the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IEBC, of rigging election in favor of William Samoe Ruto. This came after the Azimio leader, Raila Odinga, and his running mate, Martha Karua, in the election and other leaders of the coalition, including Waipa Party leader Kalonzo Msoka, Jeremiah Kioni, have claimed that the documents reportedly released by the IEBC whistleblower reflect the true result of the election. And of course, this comes also when I think Jeremy Kioni was reported in the court and of course he was summoned to go and present the real documents that they are claiming the trial of Dinga won election. So when this report was abandoned, it was because after there was a certain agreement in between William Ruto's Kenya Kwanza and Azimio team where they were to have a bipartisan kind of dialogue. And because of creating a conducive environment for dialogue in between William Ruto and Raila Odinga, they were to drop the case of Jeremia Kioni coming out to illustrate to Kenyans the results that the IEBC whistleblower came out telling Kenyans, which it was 8.1 million for Raila Odinga and William Ruto was 5.9 million um, voters. But I've been waiting so much when it comes to what we are going to see towards the investigation and authenticity of the documents that Azimio claimed that it was the real result that they came out as per the whistle or rather IBC whistle blower. Something that I'm asking myself if they want to investigate about manipulation and forgery. As the DCI boss details, accusation by Azmio that there was a manipulation and forgery of IEBC documents. And he says that the interest is in the investigating what Azmio claims are genuine forms 34B particularly the alleged irregularities and inconsistency in the watermarks feature in the IEBC documents. 
That is the manipulation and forgery. But as per what we are seeing, ladies and gentlemen, the issue of IBC is not going to be resolved like that. Even if the DCI today will come out to say that the document from Azmio is right, nothing will change. Or rather, if they will at the same time say that the document produced by Raido Dinga's team was forged and was manipulated, nothing will change. Whatever we are crying for is let the issue of IEBC be resolved once and for all. This so-called election fraud dossier should not be on place. If Raila Odinga will just relax, when the, this issue of IBC will not be resolved. And if they are sure of, of this IEBC, um, IEBC to be resolved once and for all, that in every election, if someone won election, and someone is defeated, they must come out accept. And the truth is, as the winner celebrate, and the loser is comfortable with the win of victory of a winner, it will be con it will create a conducive environment that in every election we are peaceful and we adopt um, normal activity in our country but as the 2022 poll dispute is still there as as Mio is not still recognizing some leaders in as Mio are not recognizing william ruto as the president the investigations opens another battle in the protracted 2022 general election dispute as the dci Mr. Amin Mohammed added that the investigation will over will, will cover reports of few and new vote tallies reported leaked by the IBC insider. As the Kioni first shared a report on January 18th, the Trail Dinga garnered 8.1 million votes. That was representing 57%. Against Ruto's votes 5.9 which was representing 41 percent so the opposition alliance has consistently discredited the results announced by then iebc chairman of leche bukati so as this thing 2022 general election dozia is still continuing to arise <laughs> this is something that must be resolved once and for all. And of course, in the letter written by Amin Mohammed, the 20th January, initially, said that Mr. Amin alludes that the allegation, as he requested, the poll commission to uh, furnish the DCI with certified copies of Forms 34B, aggression of votes at constituency level that were used to, uh, to tally verify and declare that the result of presidential votes so the development marks an escalation of the dispute in between the kenya kwanza and azimio as kenya kwanza is comfortable doing whatever they are doing railo dinga is not comfortable as i saw a certain video karonzo msoka was disputing and saying that these people are having a behavior of stealing votes of Raila Odinga now and then. So the letter does not mention Raila Odinga or Jeremiah Kioni, but the broadness of the investigation is expected to see them question. So is there any possibility of Raila Odinga and Jeremiah Kioni being questioned again? And this was stopped during the bipartisan dialogue. But as we are waiting now the criteria and the mechanisms that are going they are going to use to do so is it a time to correct the iebc once and for all or it is the time to follow still the election as Raila, as william ruto is 
continue to be the president? What are those? Drop your opinion at the comment section below.